Good evening, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of the Eucharist, this first day of the Te Deum Mass for the Solemnity of Christ the King. Let us include in our prayers the following intentions for the thanksgiving of Legion of Mary, lectors and commentators, senior and junior choir, Lito and Lori Zapanta, Marlon Joyce and Ira Takdol. For the birthday thanksgiving of General Boyet Almadin and Janet Sangin. For the special intentions of Jojo and Janet Villanueva, Andrew Sanidad, Catherine and Trister Soto, Christine Sotelo, John Carlo Tubi, Agnes David and family, Herminio Lynette Nukum and family, Bernie Baby Henson and family, Phil Janet Castro and family, Eleanor Ventura, Jeremy Robes, Arman and Mariet Nong, Rosana Reyes, Jimmy and Indai Santo Domingo, and Patrick and Sara Gukinko. For healing speedy recovery and good health of Alona P. Tubig, Vicente Colosiano Jr., Joy Dunca Espino, Josdado Salangsang, Wilma Ocampo, Susana Sotelo, Leticia Castro, Oraya Yuna Soto, One Third Soto, Danica Dumagin, Juanita Carlos, Gloria Sotelo, Gina Nikdao Ko, May Cabrera, Father Raul C. De Los Santos, Doris Dumpalan, Michelle Rivera, Daisy Yaplito, Jocelyn David, Ron Ingersoll, Winifred Boy Sanjongko, Jennifer Soriano, Adelaida Manyala, Father Edwin Belle, Eliadora Balingit, Divina Gracia Carbunco, Ricardo Nogoy Sr., Danilo Olazo, Angela Genuino Ramirez, Vicente Colosiano Jr., Baby Zena Florine Hope Matitu, Angelo C. Quizan, Basilica Binuya Quesada, Edel Umlas, Cyril Blue El Galvez, Eller Vito, Gloria Panilio, Ernesto Dizon, and those whom we pray for healing. For the eternal repose of the souls of Gerardo Dizon, Eliseo C. Ramiscal Sr., Ricardo and Lucia Passion, Gloria Dizon Tayag, Vicente Gamboa, Wilma Hirao, Nizel Palmes, Maxima Simang Capis, Christopher Glenn Binuya Quizon, Genemino and Asuncion Umlas, Renato Deirit, Faustino Santa Maria Jr., Luciana S. Olalia, Elena Parico, Vicente and Ellen Tantamco, Alex Resurrection, Emiliano Malonzo, Alejandro and Milagros Resurrection, Maria Teresa Morales, Archbishop Oscar V. Cruz, for the first year death anniversary of Luis Tayag, Napoleon Laurillo, Elpidio Quijano, Lindon Tayag, Rodale Olea, Godofredo and Jesus David, Nenita David, Zoilo and Seferina Cunanan, Lourdes Cunanan, Annette and Antonio Sicat, Arnel and Peter David, Magno and Francisca Hippolito, Constantino Armero, and all poor souls in purgatory. Our priest presider for today's Mass is Reverend Father Deogratius Galang. Let us all rise to glorify the Lord by singing the ancient hymn. 
Let us sing to every nation, great is our God and King. He is the rock of our salvation, lift up your hearts and sing. Great is our God and King. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. Good evening. Good evening, Father. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass. Let us recognize our faults and ask the Lord to forgive us for the times that we have sinned. Humbly recognizing our sins, we pray. I, I confess, confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Please remember your intention, your pet petition in this, in this Mass. Almighty, ever-living God, you chose to be with us in our daily life. Guide us with your love as we open this Mass with our sincere prayers that you may see in us your desire to save us as you desire to save Jerusalem. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw a scroll in the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. It had writing on both sides and was sealed with seven seals. Then I saw a mighty angel who proclaimed in a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to examine it. I shed many tears because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to examine it. One of the elders said to me, Do not weep. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has triumphed, enabling him to open the scroll with its seven seals. Then I saw standing in the midst of the throne, and the four living creatures and the elders, a lamb that seemed to have been slain. He had seven horns and seven eyes. These are the seven spirits of God sent out into the whole world. He came and received a scroll from the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. When he took it, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb. Each of the elders held a harp and gold bowls filled with incense, which are the prayers for the holy ones. They sang a new hymn, Worthy are you to receive the scroll and break open its seals, for you were slain, and with your blood you purchased for God those from every tribe and tongue people and nation you made them a kingdom and priests for our god 
and they will reign on earth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response, O Psalm, let our response be. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Let them praise His name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to Him with timbler and harm. For the Lord loves His people, and He adorns the lowly with victory. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Let the faithful exalt in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Let us all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus drew near Jerusalem, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, If this day only knew what makes of for peace, but now it is hidden from your eyes, for the days are coming upon you. When your enemies will raise a pedicide against you, and they will encircle you and hem you in all sides, they will smash you to the ground and your children with you, and they will not leave one stone over another until you be in you because you did not recognize the day of your visitation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus wept over Jerusalem. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Penangisan ng Jesus in Jerusalem. I just want to say or give a historical note. This gospel seems to be some kind of a premonition or a prophecy of what will happen if Jesus lived around 33 A.D. Historically, 70 A.D. is called the Seeds of Jerusalem. Was the decisive event when the first Jewish-Roman War, in which the Roman army captured the city of Jerusalem and destroyed both the city and the temple. The Seeds of the city began in 14 of April, 70 B.C three days before the beginning of the Passover of that year. Itong sinasabi ni Jesus, darating ang panahon, walang bato, naka, nasa, nasa sa taas ng isang bato, lahat ng yan, masisira, nangyari. And Jesus is talking about this projection in 33 AD and it happened in 470 after almost 40 years at uh, iniiyakan panang panangisa na po Jesus in Jerusalem because he could see the very 
tragic future of the temple and the city of Jerusalem. Minsan po, nakikinig ako sa tatlong, tatlong byuda. Nag-uusap po yung tatlong byuda. And I was with them. Kwentuhan sila, kumustuhan sila. Yung isang kaibigan nila sa tatlo, kamamatay pa lang ng kanyang asawa. Actually, makapalda siya pa po. And the two widows, they say, until now, I miss my husband. Hanggang ngayon, ipanto nang kaya pa yung asawa ko. The two were actually consoling the one who just lost her husband. Sabi ni Tang Metong, I still cry. And it is painful. Hanggang ngayon, ikikiyak ko pa rin. At masakit pa rin. I could recognize mataga, may, may, may some years na rin namatay yung husband ng isa. At sabi ng isa naman, it does not go. You just have to live with the pain. Hindi ka masasanay. Sabi niya, hindi ka masasanay. Sabi niya, matututunan, matututunan mo rin mabuhay ka nakasama yung sakit. No? You live with the pain. As I was listening to the widows, consoling the other one na uh, kamamatay ng asawa. I noticed there's so much love in, in, among the friends and even how much they love their, their husbands. I remember in Exodus chapter 45, there was this king, I'm sorry, In Exodus chapter 45, Joseph, the dreamer, who was bullied by his brothers, he was about to be killed. Patende sana kasi marilyala kaya. Kaluguran na yung tatang na Jacob. And sabi na, eh tayo, papatay ng kapatan tamo. Pisalita niya mo. <laughs> they sold their brother. He became literally a prisoner, a slave. In Egypt, mabuti na lang itong si Joseph. He could interpret dreams. He understand the dreams of the Pharaoh. He explained the dream of the Pharaoh. Until the Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, was so impressed by this young slave, he, he made him into his administrator, manager. At nung naging mahirap yung buhay around Jerusalem, around Egypt, Dumating yung kapatid niya. Yung kapatid niyang bully, yung nagbenta sa kanya, yung halos pinatay na siya. Nakita niya. <laughs> Hindi na siya nakikilala kasi manager na siya. <laughs> Kala nila, wala ni kapatid na, patay na. Binenta nila yung kapatid na. And yet, nung nakita niya yung kapatid niya, sabi niya, where is your father? Nasaan tatay niyo? And he was asking for the father because I matanda na rin yung patas. I will not give you anything kasi mangyadla pong relief. Pangyadla pong ayuda. You have to bring your father with you. After some time, binalik po, bumalik itong magkakapatid, kasamang tatay nila. And you know, when he saw his father, he wept. Joseph fell at his neck and wept on his neck for a good while. It was an embrace of love and weeping overwhelming joy to see his father and brothers. Tengi sana lang Joseph, then kapatid na. Ang po'y tata na. Kung ako siguro, galit ang pakikita mo. Oh, ano, di ba? Nung ako, binenta niyo ako. Nung ako, sinaktan niyo ako. Nung ako, gusto niya lang akong patayin, but he did not. It was his love and forgiveness that he was crying because of his love for his brothers and his father. Do you remember King David? King David, he killed Goliath. King David is very powerful. Pero he loved his son, Absalom, in 2 Samuel 18.33. And yet, itong anak niyang si Absalom, nag against him. Siyempre, ako yung hari, susunod na hari, yung anak ko. Kaya lang, ginawa ni Absalom, nag Ang mismong nilalabanan niya, ang tatay niya. 
Of course, itong hari, meron siyang bodyguard. Itong hari, meron siyang security, meron siyang army. Hinabol si Absalom. The, the rebels. Hanggang naka uh, inaanap siya. Wanted, no? Tapos sinabili ni, ni Haring David, huwag niyong saktan ang anak ko. Kung gusto siyang mahuli, capture him, but do not hurt him. Tapos may dumating na, ano, after some days, may dumating na soldier. Ang saya-saya niya, no? Sabi niya, ah, siguro, nadakip na itong anak ko. Only to say, your son is killed. The rebel is killed. Namatay na ang rebelde na anak mo. Alam niyo po, David's grief at the loss of his son, the king was moved with so much pain. He went up to his chamber over the gate and wept. And as he wept, thus he said, Oh, my son Absalom, my son Absalom, if I were given the chance to die, not you. Inga na akong Absalom, Absalom, mapangako ng mete, aliwai ka. If you see, itong anak niyang iniyakan, sakit ng ulo, itong anak niyang iniyakan, rebelde, itong anak niyang iniyakan, hindi man kailangan mahalin, pero the tears of the king expresses love and affection to his rebellious son. In the New Testament, mayroon din pong isang babae who was sinful and learned that Jesus was eating at the Pharisee's house. She came there with alabaster jar. Alam niyo po yung lalagyan ng mahal na pabango. And she stood behind him and his feet weeping. And she began to wet the feet with her tears and wipe them with their air and kiss them and pour perfume upon them. Ito pong babae, nung nakita niya si Jesus, nagdala siya yung pinakamahal na pabango. And she used it. At ang kanyang ginamit na panghugas ng paa ni Jesus, hindi po tubig. Kanyang luha. And her tears express her love and sorrow for her sin. She felt the mercy of God that the sinful woman washed the feet of Jesus with her tears and wiped it with her hair because of her experience of the love of God. Naranasan niya ang pagpapatawad ng Diyos at ang pagmamahal ng Diyos. Kaya palang kanyang luha ang nagamit na paghugas ng paanit. Di ba Jesus wash the feet of his disciples? Ba't ginamit niya tubig, di ba? Pero ito, ginamit niya ang kanyang luha. Napakatinding pagmamahal na naranasan niya sa pagpapatawad ng Diyos. Minsan may nasabi si Pope Francis nung dumating dito sa Pilipinas, sa UST. Parang may nagpresent ng bata sa harapan niya. May, may homily si Father, si Bishop, si, si Pope Francis noon sa UST. Tapos may lumapit na bata, yung Giselle, a young poor girl. She was crying, umiyak si Giselle kay Pope Francis. Sabi niya kasi si Giselle, ano po siya? A street child. Yung batang lansangan. Yung parang nagpapalimu sa lansangan, titida ng bulaklak. Nandun si Giselle. Ang tanong ni Giselle, O Francis, why does God allow children to suffer? Bakit pinapabayaan ng Diyos na mahirapan ang mga bata? Yung mga maraming bata na hirapan. Umiiyak si, si Giselle, yung bata. Alam niyo po yung homily ni Pope Francis. Tinabi niya at kinausap niya yung bata. Umiiyak din po si Pope Francis. Umiyak din si Cardinal Tag at the side. At sabi ni Pope Francis, Eyes washed by tears can see clearly. Pag ang mata mo daw ay nahugasan ng luha, mas malinaw ang iyong nakikita. Even in the Beatitudes, 
in Matthew 5, 4. Jesus said, Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Kung ikaw ay umiyak, nuan ka, nung kikiyak ka. Uling di anak ang grasya ng Diyos at di anak ang sika ng lub. In the gospel, Jesus wept. May nangis si Jesus. Kaya mo kinyak, hindi po pareho yan. Kaya po itang kinyak, itang kinyak, may nga pakyak ka, may touch ka kayong alben mong telenovela. Ali po eh, may nangis siya. She, Jesus did not cry. He wept. Kaya yung kapampantang ginagulgul niya. <laughs> He's crying from the gut. And he was crying for Jerusalem. Penangisane in Jerusalem. I remember when Lazarus died. In kayang kaluguran, o in kayang kaluguran, niya tang meteya. Penangisa ni Lazarus. At sabi da, it is the tears of Jesus that brought life and brought back life to Lazarus. In luan ng Jesus, yung migdalang bayong bie at spama bayong bie kang Lazaro. At yung pong misa na kwento uh, ba sa akin, there is this Korean telling the story of a Korean president after World War II. Yan ta palang World War II, talagang mesiraya po yung Korea. Di ba? May divide ya pang North and South Korea. South Korea, mesiraya po yung gera. Para po makabawi la rin Koreano, lalang obra, mesiraya yung South Korea. Germany, offered all the men to work in Germany, in the factories of Germany. On and then factories of Germany po, babayat. Gagawa lang barko, gagawa lang truck, gagawa lang makina. Kanila po may gobra rin koreano. May ipag-obra ala po. Balam na itamo rin may OFW na. On and then after the war, the Korean president visited Germany after some years. There were many Korean laborers who worked in the factories as Korea was rebuilding after World War II. May tula po yung stadium, ano kadakal din, lalaki. At suya po ka rin yung presidente ng Korea. Most of them are men and they listen to their president. After the speech of the president, natin po may tunga matuwa mo naman, an old man. May tuwa niya po mag-obra kayong factory, King Germany. Nga yung tindyad na mo rin, O ba't ding koreano, biyasa lang gawang kochi ngayon eh. Ang pong barko. Uling Maracal Carrela, may biyasa la Germany. At niya tang mag-obra hala po ka rin, talagang batak na batak eh. One old Korean man consumed from labor, hard labor from factories in many years, stood up and asked the president. Nga na po kitna ni President. President, please tell us stories about our country. Kanita po ay lamumuli, alam telepano, alam Facebook. Talagang makakawa nila ka rin kaluguran daw. Please tell us stories about our country. Is it recovering? Makabawi na yung bansa tamo? Is it better? Mas masanting na ka rin? Can we go home? Pwede na kayong muli? If our country is already recovered? But if not, nung ngayon pa may kabawi yung bansa tamo, we will continue working here. Mag-obra kayo pa po kayo. And he was weeping. Manangis siya po. Kabang kukot na na yung presidente ito. And all the men, lalaki lang po, factory workers, kaya taking gymnasium or stadium, they were all gathered and all of them were weeping. Ba? Lalaki lang. Manangis lang. Nang panangisan daw. In karelang bansa, Korea. Iba't ang Koreanong magkwento, anak itang Pilipino, How about you, Filipinos? Do you cry for your country? Ika yung Pilipino nga na, panangisan niya yung bansayo? I believe your tears will speak of your passion. Your tears speak more eloquently than your words. And I believe your tears will save your beloved. Then kaya ting kung magkwento, panangisan ng anak na. Hindi masya siya buntok. Pwede po ito. O panangisan ng asawa na uling kaluguran eh. O nga chuya bro. 
Pwedeng panangisan may mamo, masakit yan. I believe the deeper the pain, the deeper the love. Nung nino yung panangisan mo, yung kaluguran mo. May ask you, ano ang iniyakan mo? Sino ang iniyakan mo? Nino pong panangisan nyo? Manwala ko, iyamurin yung kaluguran mo. May God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand. Jesus wept over the city of Jerusalem because he foresaw the destruction that would visit it because of the city did not recognize the time of its visitation. May we recognize what truly makes us, makes for peace. For every prayer, we shall answer, Lord, grant us your peace. Itangan po. Lord, grant us your peace. May the experience of the worldwide pandemic convince the leaders of the world that the time has come to put an end to wars, eliminate inequalities, and to heal injustice that is undermining the health of the entire human race. We pray. Lord, grant us your peace. May nations and parties put an end to war and conflicts that cause the death not only of soldiers, but also the death and so much suffering on the part of civilians and innocent children. We pray. Lord, grant us your peace. May people enjoy the experience of true peace, a peace that is not imposed by threats or domination, but one born of freedom and respect of human dignity. We pray. Lord, grant us your peace. If misunderstanding happens in the family, may members never let the sun go down without making peace, so that the next day will have a new beginning. We pray. Lord, grant us your peace. May those who have lost their lives due to lack of peace may find their joy in heavenly peace. We pray. Lord, Grant us your peace. In the silence of our hearts, we may now pray our personal intentions. Father, Jesus gave the Easter peace to his disciples, the fruit of his victory over sin and death. May we experience and live in that peace which the world cannot give. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Liturgy of the Eucharist. Pray, my dear friends, that this sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the price of everlasting happiness. 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving itself your gift. Since our praises had nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation. And so, in company with all the choirs of angels and saints, we praise you, and with great joy, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the known eternal covenant. It will be shed for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Florentino, our Bishop, and all the priests and our friends who serve you in our church, especially here in our parish at the Holy Cross. Remember our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to call God our Father.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I give you peace. My peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace, the unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. My dear friends, we share with one another the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Please stand. 
we have partakers we have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery humbly imploring O Lord that what your son demanded commanded of us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity we ask this through Christ our Lord amen the Lord be with you and with your spirit may the blessings of Almighty God rest upon you your family and your loved ones the Father the Son the Holy Spirit amen like Jesus there are times that our tears actually express our deepest love that brings salvation in our life our mass is offered thanks be to God I will see. 